Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about disasters, uh, some of my experiences. Uh, uh, I used to uh, uh, travel around, uh, I was a disaster chaser, like a storm chaser. I was a disaster chaser. I would uh, go to after hurricanes, after tornadoes and stuff like that, I'd go and, uh, and help. Uh, some of them. Uh, I could get to in a matter of hours uh, and some of them they were so bad it would take me days to get to them and uh, but anyways that, that's what I want to kind of talk about and uh, uh, the thing is um, now the, the main thing that I used to do uh, I, you know I do the hoichi I can take away pain and so back aches I, the back aches are easy I can take away back aches and uh, knees and hips and arms and you know any kind of pain most pains I can pretty much take care of and especially when it's in a uh, after a disaster situation and the reason is uh, now after a disaster it's not like I can come in and take away your pain and everything gonna be okay after you've lost your house I really can't do nothing about this. Uh, the people that I normally help are the the people that come in and help help the people, the uh, first responders, the the uh, volunteers that come in and help. And uh, uh, the the and it really what it was was when I come driving in. I mean, it's I I I raise the spirits of everybody. And that's because I normally come in on a motorcycle with my dog, Zena. I, I raise the spirits of everybody. And that's because I normally come in on a motorcycle with my dog, Zena. And uh, so it raises everybody's spirits when they see that. And um, I, where I go is... Um, to where the supplies are. That's normally where I'm at. Uh, the staging area for when they start organizing the groups to go out and and do whatever they need to do and stuff like that, where all the planning and all this kind of stuff is done. That's normally the place where, where I'm at. And so, I mean, the people that have lost their homes and, and are digging through the debris, you know, I, I don't do like that. So, But like I say, the ones that are helping them dig through the debris and they're taking supplies out to them. Those are the people that I help. So, like I say, I'll, a lot of times I'll be at an airport in Guatemala. Uh, there was a hurricane that it took out the southern part of uh, uh, Mexico and uh, the northern part of Guatemala, and there was no roads at all. And uh, they, they so they couldn't get supplies there. And it was kind of cool on that, is because. Um, where I was at, it's the second largest city in Guatemala, it's uh, Shella, uh, Custancanango, something like that. And um, uh, what they would do is supplies would come into Guatemala City, and then they would helicopter them up to uh, uh, Shella, where I was at. And so I would be there, and um, uh, so I'm there, I'm, I'm uh, people are coming in with uh, donkeys, pickups, and stuff like that to get supplies and stuff to take out to the people that have been, uh, you know, got caught in a hurricane. And uh, so I'm there at the airport with all that. And so I'm helping the people that are bringing the stuff and coming in to get the stuff. And so they come in, they're getting stuff, and then I go on and fix them. And then they go and get, go back and take the supplies back. The people loading them up, unloading the helicopters, and loading them on the pickups and stuff like that. I'm um, helping them, and um, uh, the helicopter crews. I took care of them also. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, kind of helping as many people as I can, and that's the best place to do it. And then uh, the next thing would happen. Uh, they would. Uh, uh, oh yeah, in Guatemala, that one there, it was funny because uh, they told me, well, you wait right here, just stay right here, uh, because the president of Guatemala is coming up, and they, you know, they want to 
wants to see me, you know, and so I don't speak Spanish, so what's he going to, you know, it's not like he's, he's my buddy and we're going to go talk, so then I thought, well, I don't really want to, you know, just, it's all it is, photo op, so I thought, now, nah, I don't, I don't really want to do that, and one of the helicopter guys said, well, you going to be going to Mexico, and I said, well, I don't know, and they said, well, they need you in Mexico, so uh, I said, well, I think all the roads are gone, and he said, oh, yeah, don't worry about that, we'll, we'll take you. And so then we loaded up uh, uh, my motorcycle, Xena, and myself, and we got on the, loaded up on the helicopter and went to Mexico. And that's how I ended up getting in Mexico. And uh, uh, I got there at the airport, and when I got to the airport, I started trying to find out who's in charge, and I found the guy that was in charge. And so uh, they said, well, where can I go to help people? And so... I did some there at the airport, and then he had me go to the, the headquarters where all this is taken care of on the Mexican side. And so I went over there and started working on people there. They had communications and all the planning, and all, all, the, all the people were there. And uh, so I did that, and then I was there. I don't know how many days I was there doing that. And then finally the roads started getting clear, and so then I went back, drove back to Guatemala. And uh, when I did, uh, you know, I mean, I just went back, and that was that was it for me. I've, I'd been gone maybe a month. I normally go out close to a month when I go out to disasters. Normally by then, they pretty much start getting everything under control. And uh, the one thing I, I did find kind of odd about disasters is seldom, seldom is not the right word. I've never seen them handle a disaster properly and uh, yeah disasters are really weird but the thing is if you are in the disaster business you know what to expect you know how to handle all this stuff and I've, I've never seen it happen and uh, one of the times was uh, Katrina in, in uh, um, New Orleans and that took me probably I think 10 days to get there something like that uh, but I drove up from Guatemala, <laughs> so it was it was a long drive. And then uh, same thing when I pulled in there, everybody was real happy to see me and all this. And they've already been working. Like I say over a week they've been working, so they were tired and they were ready for my assistance. And uh, so um, that was really interesting. Um, what I now this is one thing I saw at Katrina that I thought was really really cool. And uh, that's, um, I, I don't remember if it was a wash machine company or uh, uh, Tide Soap or, or whatever, you know, I don't, I don't remember what it was. But they had a flatbed truck, low, a low flat, uh, flatbed truck, had wash machines on there. And they had uh, a tanker with water, uh, so they had water for the wash machines. And so then people could do their laundry. And I thought it was really cool that um, so there is a use I'm, you know I'm not a big company kind of guy I don't like big companies but when the big companies do it right uh, they would be at all these disasters they would have the equipment set up and I, if I remember right it was some pizza place and I don't remember the pizza place but they had uh, a truck with um, let's see the, the propane to run their their uh, stoves and uh, they had all the food and they, they would make pizzas and they're giving all this stuff out to all the people. These are all people that are working helping people so that was really interesting. Um, uh, Walmart had their Walmart trucks there and they had uh, bottled water, they had clothes, uh, they had all kinds of stuff. So um, uh, what I'm saying is the the private sector seemed like it, it had their marbles together when it came to um, natural disasters, big, overwhelming natural disasters. So I think that's a good thing. I, I wish all of them would do like that. That's a good time for them to give back to the community. And so uh, it, it was good. Now, uh, uh, one place I went to was... Uh, I don't remember if it was Greenville or something like that in Kansas. And it was Green something, the name of the town was. And it got totally wiped out. It's a little small community. I think there was two buildings left standing. And uh, 
I'd come driving up there, and you know they had the roads all closed; they wouldn't let anybody in and everything. I drove up there with my dog on the motorcycle, and uh, they said, "Can't go through." And I said, "I'm here to help people." And they said, "Okay, go on through." So that's why I was able to get all these places. It was it was Zena, the dog, that opened the doors for me. And then after I got in, then some I say I would help people and do stuff like that. And it's funny that Greenville or whatever it was that town's up in Kansas. And they wanted to, uh, I don't remember when that was, but they wanted to make a big deal about it. And they were going to make it an all-green community. And I don't know if they ever did, but uh, that was the idea. Because the name was there, and so the government really get put out money there so then they could really, you know, do the, the green stuff. But, but anyway, I don't know how that all worked. But uh, uh, So there's, what I'm saying is... Uh, it is neat. Now, I didn't go to uh, the one in Joplin, uh, Joplin, Missouri. Uh, it happened the day before I was catching the plane to go fly. I don't know where I was going, but I was leaving somewhere. And so I thought about canceling my flight and then go down there and help them. Uh, the only thing is, like I say, my experience, that was, I mean, that was right there, right after the Joplin thing. And like I say, between that and the Greensville, you know, the the government always acts like they know what they're doing. And so they make it hard uh, to do that stuff. Like I say, I was in Moore, Oklahoma, and uh, that was when the Obama, uh, I was there working on people, and they said, well, you need to wait here because Obama's coming. And, uh, you know, they want to they wanna see you. And, you know, I was with some gal. And I asked her, I said, you want, to be, you want to see the president? She goes, no, not really. And I said, okay, come on, let's go. So we took off and because they were securing the area. So that's not a good thing when the president comes to a, uh, a disaster, when it, after, it's, if, after disaster is gone. I mean, it's, and I say, I'm not going to play the game. I know what it is. It's a photo op. And uh, they screw up everything. I mean, if people, they got work to do. They don't have time to mess around with the president. But anyway, uh, I just thought I would share something, a little bit about some of the stuff that I've done. And uh, to and let you know, well, I've, I do think about this stuff. Uh, I've, I've got a little bit of experience when it comes to disasters, one way or the other. This Mike, no stress Mike, dot com.